Hello researchers, welcome to another neuroscience research video. Today we're going to be talking about a peptide by the name of CMAX. CMAX is a synthetic peptide drug that was developed in Russia. It is a heptapeptide, meaning it consists of seven amino acids and it is a modified version of a fragment of adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as ACTH. As it was developed in Russia, most of its studies and research is in Russian, so to be interpreted, most require translation. This means there is not a great amount of information on the variants. CMAX is generally regarded as a neurogenesis, inducing peptide, increasing the plasticity in the brain. It is thought to do this through multiple pathways such as BDNF enhancement and also serotonin and dopamine modulation. CMAX also exhibits pleiotropic effects on immune response, angiogenesis, and calcium regulation at the genomic level, which likely underlie its neuroprotective actions in focal ischemia. CMAX is thought to be a cleaner cognitive enhancer than general peptide extracts such as cortexin or cerebrolysin, as it is a singular peptide. Effects are normally thought to include spatial cognitive enhancement, learning enhancement, and long-term memory enhancement. It has also been found in studies to be neuroprotective, and it is approved for the treatment of ischemic stroke and transient ischemic attacks in Russia. Some users also report a moderate antidepressant effect as well. CMAX is generally well tolerated with few reported side effects. It is approved for human use in Russia, and also as it is a peptide, it is generally less likely to have cytotoxic, hepatotoxic, or other toxic side effects compared to small molecules. The main issue with peptides, however, is that most are unsuitable for oral consumption. CMAX is normally administered intranasally or intravenously for maximum efficacy, which can be a bit less convenient. It also is less stable than something like a small molecule, so it is advised to refrigerate CMAX to extend its lifespan. There are also multiple forms of CMAX. The original form of CMAX is generally used less than modified versions as the modified versions have a better pharmacokinetic profile. One modification of CMAX is adding a N-acetyl group, making N-acetyl-CMAX. N-acetyl-CMAX, also known as NA-CMAX, is a modified version of CMAX with an acetyl group added to the N-terminus, which increases its stability and potency. For some people, NACMAX and NACMAX amidate have somewhat different profiles in terms of their effects, so it may be best to test both. N-acetyl-CMAX amidate is a further modified version of N-acetyl-CMAX with an additional amidate group, which enhances its lipophilicity and blood-brain barrier permeability. Some versions of CMAX also have an acetate group added to improve the pharmacokinetics further, however it seems not very necessary. A derivative of CMAX called CMAX OG also exists, however there is not MECU information on it. NACMAX and NACMAX amidate are used the most as they are normally superior to the base peptide. The average dose commonly used intranasally for CMAX and CMAX derivatives is 200 to 600 micrograms daily. Higher doses can have potentially anxiogenic and antisocial effects, so most users stay within the mentioned dose range. In conclusion, CMAX and derivatives of CMAX are quite interesting peptides in terms of their nootropic and neuromodulating effects. CMAX is commonly combined with another similar peptide named Selenc, so that will be the topic of our next video. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay researching. Make sure to subscribe to join the Komaru army.